Hello. Okay. Okay. Lantern year eight. First uh, monster that's level two. Going back for the old lion. So. <laughs> well, first thing we probably need to do is talk about what happened in the uh, settlement phase. Settlement phase. In the settlement phase. Hey, 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 Skyom. I thought you're going to bed. You got a lot of work to do tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, so settlement phase. Yeah. What we did, we realized we had five innovations, which triggered the story event Hooded Knight, which is what the picture that you're seeing is. So the Hooded Knight, a stranger emerges from the darkness. <laughs> hey, yo, Elena. Howdy. So yeah, we're uh, so having five innovations, which mm -hmm. we decided we haven't been able to innovate in a while. So we, luckily this settlement phase we got to innovate twice so but it did kick off that event burger and fries sounds so good right now okay anyway hooded knight stranger emerges from the darkness if any survivor has a twilight sword which we did not at the time they duel the knight otherwise his motives are inscrutable roll below on mysterious agenda so we rolled we rolled a nine. Yeah. Which reads, The hooded knight forces a tattered parcel into the hands of the returning survivor with the most hunt XP. If tied, randomized. So that was between Paul Zarin and Erica. Yep. And since Paul Zarin's a matchmaker, and we kind of like having a matchmaker, we gave it to Erica. Yeah. The hooded knight leaves with unfinished business. If there are no returning survivors, then the light night leaves with unfinished business. So the unfinished business, what that means is four years from now on the timeline, we had to add Hood at Night as a story event. So, so we get to come back. Or 12, we're going to. Get to come back and do this again. And at that time, we will have the Twilight Sword because that's what the Tattered Parcel was. We actually, yeah, we have it. And I think, well, we don't know who we gave it to directly. We gave it to Erica. Uh, you're not going to be able to see that too well, but that is the... Twilight Sword. It's rare gear. Uh, if you, uh, it's, it it's is right, it's cursed. Yeah. This may not be removed from your gear grid for any reason. When you die, archive this card. But it's a damn good sword. Yeah, it's got it's a uh, what's a, the first number called? Uh, the speed of one, and then it's got a nine for um, strength. Strength, and then Hi, the hit was whatever your strength is or whatever it was nine it says star or uh, asterisk plus that's your um a a word <laughs> not asshole <laughs> it's like you're asking me what my a word is <laughs> accuracy accuracy right so um we didn't take this with us this time because erica has to sit out this hunt and she's the only one that can carry that sword hey brit okay so You've had that shirt a while. But yes, it's one of the newer shirts. Yes. Because it says a role-playing adventure on the bottom. Yeah, it's probably two or three months, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Shirts come and go. <laughs> I ordered it for, for him. It's um, magically in the closet, and I start wearing it. <laughs> okay. So we did the Hooded Night. Uh, we did the Hooded Night story event, I should say. Then we did the Gorm Climate because we have to do that every year until we get that uber rare thing that will let us get rid of it. And Izzy was nominated to stand against the storm and she got one courage. Right. <laughs> Is that basement fair? Yes. <laughs> uh, and then our story event for the time for the this year, this lantern year, was Heat Wave. Right. Heat Wave was uh was not good. It was impossibly hot. hot. Any returning survivors with heavy or fur gear have heat stroke and they may not depart this lantern year. That's why Erica couldn't depart. That's right. Because she had, she was the only one, fortunately, that had heavy gear. Right. So it did have a couple things. We weren't allowed to do any science or education endeavors because it was just too hot. And, uh, but it did give us some, uh, 
an Endeavor action that we could do, which was find fluid. So we decided to do that. At the very end of the settlement At the phase. very end. And, <laughs> and uh, the advantage to that is if we rolled a six or a seven, we could depart with the heavy gear as normal, which would allow us to take the king spear with us. But we didn't roll a seven or an eight, so we cannot take the king spear with us. No, but we did develop a cat eye circlet. Yes. So that's something you guys can remind us of. Uh, as an action, if so Grimby's carrying the cat eye circlet. If uh, he uses his action, he can reveal the next three monster hit locations and put them back in any order. The um, Strategically, we're thinking, though, if we could somehow find a critical hit location that's very uh, damaging to the White Lion, we could use the Cat Eye Circlet to find the three cards, look and see if one of them is a really good critical uh, situation, and we both still have one Founding Stone, and it's an automatic critical hit. So it might come to, and to our advantage if Grimby can't do an action, we can use that, find something that can really damage the Lion, and then use one of our Founding Stones to, uh, to maybe lop off a leg or something. Who knows? See, we do a little bit of planning for this stuff. A little bit. A little bit. And then, uh, so what else did you we, have? We in? also made the dried acanthus thingy, which uh, when you depart, which means we when we leave to go on the hunt, we gain plus two survival. When you suffer a severe injury, ignore it and archive this card. So we can ignore one, uh, who is this? Izzy can ignore one severe injury, but we also have another one that we had from earlier. Who has it? Uh, Paul. Paul Zarin has one also. And the good thing is we had only two survival up until when we innovated this time. And then we got to add two additional survival to our settlement. So now we can leave with four survival. We have a survival limit of four. Which is good. Very good. Well. Twice as good as two. Twice as good as two, but not very good, but good. Right. Yes. More survival is better. We also made some monster grease for a plus one evasion. Right. So the good, yeah, it gives uh, Paul will get a plus one evasion when he leaves. If we were to get three, um, what do you call them? Affinities. affinities. The green other A word. Green affinities, then we can get an additional evasion for Paul. Do you have a plus one evasion token for him? I do. It's right okay. there. Uh, we also we see we innovated Negredo and Shrine. Yeah. So we have Shrine here which uh as an endeavor thingy we can do right and the cool thing about this endeavor is when we rolled if you get a four plus when you roll on this um final after final adjustments uh, departing survivors add plus one to all hit locations so now we have armor on every part of our body regardless of if we actually have armor on every part of our body magic armor yeah so the shrine allowed us to to do that elena has enough points for two re-rolls so if we need to re-roll and she's not paying attention i don't know why she wouldn't be paying attention we can just say her name and she'll or just pop scream. In. she'll be our re-roll fairy we'll go put down a fries <laughs> we need a damn re-roll all right and then uh we'll get into the how bad this uh lion's gonna be when we when we get there if we get there um we still we we uh had love juice yes we did and Campbell and Izzy had a baby. And we went ahead and named her. So we had a baby girl and we named her Jessica. We, we didn't have Jessica yet, somehow. Right. Well, we really did. We don't know much about Jessica. That's true. She's an enigma. So then we finished off with the heat wave rolling to find the fluid, which would have allowed us to do endeavors that involve science and something else, but at this point in time, didn't make a whole lot of difference. So we didn't really get to upgrade our armor or weaponry very much, but we did get a lot of science Campbell and stuff. Izzy. Campbell and Izzy had a baby. Yeah. I could see that. Jessica. Had a baby Jessica. Yes. So... So um, okay, so now we're going to go off on the hunt. Yes. To hunt a level two lion. You have Paul's Aaron. Yep. And Grimby. Yep. And I have Izzy, and Mia. And we're hoping because we know when we go back the next next 
Sunday, we're going to be fighting the Kingsman. Kingsman, yeah. Uh, so he sucks. We had that experience last time we sort of went through the campaign, and we know it's going to be bad. So we're really hoping that at least Paul and Mia survive this. <laughs> um, it, it would be sad if Grimby or Izzy died, but it would be uh, devastating if both Paul and Mia died. If they both are taken out, uh, next week will be... I mean, we might just go ahead and just put up a TPK sign <laughs> and let it go for two hours because that, that would be a that would be our death notice. So let's hope for that. Britt says baby hag make, makes sense to call it Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All you ready? Right. Let's head out uh, ready for the hunt. Ready going to be, I guess. I hope we don't get the lion baby Oh, I hope thing. not. We've got that twice since we've done Yeah, this. we don't need this lion enraged on top of everything else. No. He's already going to start with quite a bit more as a level two. So, all right. So we'll start out with um, we'll start with Paul. So let's go across here and move Paul up. Let's see what we get. Uh, prowling lion. While the survivors stalk the white lion, the monster hunts something else. While the white lion is one space away from the survivors on the hunt board, in pursuit of its prey. Move the white lion one space away from the survivors on the hunt board. Interesting. The white lion starts the showdown with ground fighting in play. Build its AI deck. So does that mean we just sort of ran into it then? Uh, it I says, guess so, yeah. While the survivors stalk the white lion, the monster hunts something else. So I think we just sort of run into each other. Move the white lion one space away from the survivors on the hunt board in pursuit of its prey. The white lion starts the showdown with ground fighting in play. Build the AI deck normally. So I think that's it. Because we would move into the space, which would start to... Well, that was not even worth Quite setting the board uneventful, up. Quite eventful, yeah. Uh, Vladio subscribed at Tier 1 for two months. Wow. Skull and Britt are going to have burgers tomorrow. Yeah. Elena and... and Bill are having burgers tonight. Yeah. Leland says, score monster. I quite agree with that. Yeah. And Elena says, you always start with something with this dang lion, hey? Yeah. Yes. Yes, this dang lion. It doesn't seem to matter what level. It's, it's... Anyway, ground fighting is a mood, which means it stays out. The monster flops onto its side, waiting for attackers to draw near. While ground fighting is in play, do not draw AI cards. When a survivor spends, he is alive. Bill's alive. When a survivor spends action in the zone of death, before resolving the action, the monster performs a basic action with plus two speed. Which one is this? Ground fighting. There we go. Plus two speed and plus one damage. Targeting the survivor. When so, the white line is wounded, discard ground fighter. So he starts there. So he's laying on his side, right? He is laying on his side. And we can start anywhere? Because... <laughs> yeah, you could read it. Didn't have to listen to me. Um, we randomly drew the uh, dead monster terrain. Right. The dead monster terrain says, if dead monster is drawn during showdown setup, survivors may start the showdown anywhere on the showdown board. Survivors may go first. Wait, you know what? Yeah. What did that hunt card say? I'm, I'm, uh, what I'm thinking will make this more harder for us. Why? So I probably shouldn't be thinking this out Well then let's stop thinking about it. <laughs> Because it said to start it with ground fighting in play and then make the AI deck, which would mean ground fighting would not be included in the AI deck, which is where it was. So I took it out of the AI deck, which would mean we would still need well, another AI level the lion starts the showdown with ground fighting in play, build its AI deck normally. It just means it's in play. It right, just, exactly. We need one more AI, one more A card. I don't know if that's what it's saying. I think it says, it says build the AI deck normally. Right, so we would build the AI deck normally which would and include... then take ground fighting and put it in play okay i'll go with that because that's better for us 
Yeah, I don't, it didn't. I don't think it makes it any harder. Does everybody agree with that? Thanks, AJ. I actually need this buzzed again. It's getting a little long. Hey, Kenpo. Happy to have you for as long as you can stay. See, Elena agrees. So, yeah. Good enough. Good enough. Mm, yes. All right. <laughs> so, the dead monster starts next to... Adjacent to monster. Yes. Okay. Which is actually rather thematic for the hunt card that we got. Oh, it found the uh, the dead monster. It was hunting something, sniffed the dead monster, and we ran into it. Survivors may start the showdown anywhere on the showdown board. Survivors may go first. And for an action, we can search the dead monster. What's that say? I played Eldritch Horror, so my mind is in pick what's worse for the players mode. Probably better to listen to AJ. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, cool. Tom. Tom. Tomothy. All right, so we have the giant stone face, which five spaces from the edge of the board. Uh, let's just go one, two, three, four, five. Put that. How about there? Might be able to pot shot that baby. And then, uh, so that goes over here. And then what else do we have? Tall grass. Tall grass. Um, let's see. Set up as four spaces away from all other tall grass. So how about here and... I probably want to put it over on, in case we end up on that side of the board. Because we can jump into the tall grass, and if we had the priority token, we can get rid of the priority token for an action. If you're standing on a space occupied by tall grass, you disappear into it. If you have the priority target remove token, remove it. If you you are not a threat until you attack or move out of the space occupied by tall grass. Okay. Okay. So now we can set up anywhere. Yes, we can because of the dead monster. So with ground fighting in play, we get to go first, right? Because because of the dead it, monster, we get to go first. And we also we get to go first because it, you don't draw an AI card, so both both ways we get to go in. Well, it would still do. Uh, well, no, when a survivor spends an action in the zone of death. So, how far away does the bow shoot? Six. Six. So one, two, three. So. Oh, uh, we also didn't read cunning. Oh yeah, go. You want to uh, pop it up so they don't have to only listen to me? Yeah. Well, we took the time to to do all these. It would be nice to up on screen. Let me get rid of ground fighting here. Are any of the characters velociraptors? I think they'd really be good at exploiting long grass. Um, so we haven't had that disorder yet. That, that a survivor thinks it's a dinosaur. No. <laughs> I'm not ruling it out as a possibility, but it hasn't come up yet. No. <laughs> um, I will read it. She'll, she'll read still it. read it, but... You know, this is the one I think that's really going to... Suck. <laughs> this is going to kill us, I think, if there's anything that's going to take us out. So cunning is a trait, which means it's always out and we can't get rid of it. At the end of each monster turn, the monster extends its claws. And then there's a break so that we could... Do an action. Uh, use or our survival do to a do survival. a survival action. If there are any adjacent survivors, target one at random and full move the white lion directly away from all threats. Target suffers grab, and what grab means is place a target knocked down in front of the monster. Target suffers one damage per monster level, which would be two. And if we're knocked down, we can't get up again till the end of the next monster turn. So essentially, every round he's alive, he's going to be doing two damage to one of us if we are adjacent is that what it if, says if we, end, if we end our turn adjacent to the lion it's going to grab us and take off with us and beat us up a little so bit so the good thing about oh no there's nothing good about that <laughs> but uh grimby has the halberd which he can attack from two spaces away um paul does have bone darts so he can do a ranged attack uh i already got grimby okay. Izzy. Izzy has the bow. the bow, which it's cumbersome, so she can't move and shoot, which is annoying. But, oh, apparently she's starting on top of the stone face, so that's good, because that's a plus two accuracy. Right. And then Mia has, uh, she only has bone darts for ranged. She has the katars and a bone blade, which, I mean, this is like D&D. &D. There's <laughs> so many weapons now. How are we carrying all these things? The bad thing is we will only be able to be in the... Uh, critical, whatever you call it. Blind spot? Blind spot. 
if it ends up happening to us and, and then, then we, we can, can attack and then move out. Yeah, attack and run. But if we move into the blind spot, you're basically going to take two points of damage. Unless you dodge. Uh, uh, then you can dodge. Well, you it would be one location, two points, right? So if you dodged, you wouldn't get hit at all. What does it say? Uh, grab suffers one damage per monster level. So it's only one hit. So if you did a dodge... One, one no, it's two damage. Because it's monster level two. Right, but it's not two hits. It's just two damage to one location. Okay. So basically, if, you're next, if we go up behind him and we hit, we can use our survival to dodge to keep that from happening. Because there is a break there in the card. So let's say we go up behind it, we get in the blind spot, we hit, and then on its turn, it's going to try to do, at the end of its turn and wants to do its thing, we can do a dodge with a survival and not take two points of damage. I think we're going to be using a lot of our survival just to dodge. Well, it's a good thing we got our limit up. That's right. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, happy birthday, Ivan. Happy B-Day. I'll give you a present and I won't sing to you. Yes. <laughs> That's a present for everyone. Uh, we can't forget our stone noses. All right. Who has stone noses? Does everybody have a stone nose? No. One of us does not have a stone nose. Stone noses give us uh, one survival and one insanity, but everything else gave us survival, so we're all maxed on that. So uh, three of us get to up our insanity by one. Oh my. Mia so has nine insanity. Stone noses get up on insanity. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Hey, it worked. What is that? I can't read it. Elena gifted a tier one sub to Kenpo. Yay. Yay. Happy birthday. And very nice of you, Elena. He does not have that, so we got all that. Okay. All right. Let's uh, put our... Yay. B Bill's cheering. <laughs> It's hard to believe how little that is on the it's blurry. Well, I mean, we're seeing a whole lot on our screen yeah, here. All right, so um, I think... That's what she said. It's so little. <laughs> so I'm thinking if we can start anywhere... Hype train incoming. Thank you, Tom Posh. I think we can go <laughs> ahead and start. Next to it? Well, he attack can attack from two away. I mean, might as well have these two... Uh, go ahead and get their <laughs> get their uh, bonus right. Like, Is he what's it, huh? We'll get behind in the blind spot. Yeah, that'll be Paul. He has to use the axe to be able to get his axe proficiency up. So we want to just start there, and that'll be taken care of. Then this is who Mia. Yes. And Mia is going to use what weapon? The katars uh, or the sword? If, if she's right next to it. Okay, and then I can get Wait, um, yeah. Grimby, who has the halberd, to go from two away, so he won't be adjacent. And now, Izzy can shoot from there. Yeah, is there something we can get off the dead monster? Can we search yeah, it? Yeah, we can search it. Um, so maybe we should do that. We should definitely hit that fucking uh, lion while we can. Yeah, yeah. So how? Screw yeah. the dead monster. We need yeah. to hit that lion as hard and fast as we can. All right, you're right. <laughs> All right, so we get first go, right? Now, the, uh, you have a first. They're talking about the badge and having a little rogue head and stuff. All right, so these two need to go, because as soon as we hit it, the ground fighting card goes back into the uh, our discard pile, right? Yes, as soon as we wound it. Right, which let's hope that happens. Wait, fingers crossed. Right. And then we just go back to cunning at that point. So ground fighting is not a issue. But it could come back, but yes. All right, so let's do this. Um, who wants to go first? We've got Paul and... Well, yeah, we're taking me. it serious. It's a level two lion. It's going to kill us. <laughs> I'm more worried about it's a big next kitty. week. I, just surviving this week. If we try flicking a piece of string, flicking a piece of string off to this side to distract the lion. Well, you didn't get the yarn... We couldn't get yarn, uh, couldn't make it yet. We don't have the <laughs> we seamstress. Yeah. We need to wound the big jerk. That's right. That's All right, let's do it. Head. 
Uh, Mia or Paul? Who do you want to go first, Mia or Paul? I, I think Paul, because Paul needs to get that axe proficiency in, and you don't have a spear now. That's true. So, so the weapon proficiency doesn't matter. Okay, it's going to be Paul. Scalm? Scalm goes first. Okay, Scalm. <laughs> Scalm, you're Paul. All right, so we're going to do Bone Axe. We get to roll speed to two, six plus. What, bone Axe to the back? What is his... What is uh, what? Toughness? Toughness. I can't read that far back. Toughness. Level two is a ten. So... Oh, he has a plus one speed and a plus one... Can you hand me a plus one speed and a plus one damage token, please? Stop reading things! <laughs> <laughs> Dangle catnip in front of the lion. Okay. Right. So, so level two is plus one at speed and plus one damage. Okay. So top of cunning. Anger. I have the bone axe. Paul is going to attack with the bone axe. He has a six plus, but he has plus one accuracy. So that is. And he's uh, in the blind spot. Five plus four plus. So you need a four plus to hit. And he has a. He has nothing to do with balls. accuracy. Okay. Four plus to hit. Look at that! Mm. Two nice. perfect hits does right your, off the bat. Does your axe do anything for perfect hits? Um, Savage, once per attack, if you critically wound, cause an additional wound. Yay! It's, it's, Brent see, gave us 100 hearts! The problem with this is, you start out really good, and there's only one way to go from there. <laughs> so, Alright. Um, so, let's see. i got two perfect hits, and it doesn't have anything to do with... The effect does not apply or impervious hit. Okay, okay, so no. Okay, so you got the beast's elbow and the beast's scapular deltoid. All right. So let's see. Both of them have a reaction on failure. Mm, don't and they're fail. both going to run forward, it looks like. so. But they both have critical wounds, too. <laughs> Everybody's cheering. <laughs> All right. Roll one die. So we're going to roll one die. What's your strength? And... Actually, i got to re... Damn it, I couldn't get that extra evasion. Um, my strength is plus one, two. And your axe. And the axe is a three, so, so that's plus five. five. And it has a toughness of ten, so you need a five plus to hit. Five plus. I'm or gonna, wound. wound. We're going to go with beast elbow first. Okay, five plus. Yes! Another perfect... And there's a crit it's on the a card! Crit. Man, that's three in a row. Yes! <laughs> oh, this is going to go so bad! <laughs> this is all going <laughs> to... The Detmer curse. It, yeah, <laughs> make you feel good right before they rip the rug out from under you. Oh, my goodness. All right, so it is a hit. So critical wound. Cancel reaction on this card. The monster howls in pain as the blow breaks its elbow with a sickening crunch. Non-deaf survivors gain plus three insanity and may stand if they're knocked down. That's, so we all get plus nice. three insanity. So seven here. Grin is at now at 12. And... Plus three, that's at 11. Four for Izzy. Didn't really hurt him, but... Okay, so that one's gone. Yeah, but that also means ground fighting yep, that's right. is discarded. So he actually doesn't stand until... Um, the end of, he stands up on his turn then, so I assume. Yeah, he would stand up on his turn. Okay, so I'm going to go for the second one. Beast Scapular Deltoid. Six, Six. that's enough. I needed that, so it's oh. a hit. AI card goes away. Yeah, yeah, do that. AI card goes away. So, so we are now at 14 hit points for the monster. So that is a, that is a hit. So but it's not a crit, but that's fine. But it is not a failure, so it's, it's not a failure. It just goes. Perfect. So now I need to adjust the monster. That's a good start. That is, I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. Monster health. So now we're down to 14? <laughs> Nothing could go wrong from here. <laughs> All right. There we go. So he's still laying down. So you still, Mia can go now in the blind spot. And. No, okay. Because yeah, it's, it's still it, our turn. No, I was, yeah, I was thinking there's something like when the, when the monster is laying down, but I think it's when it gets knocked down, we can hit on a three plus. Um, it doesn't matter what weapon we're using, it's a three plus. But I think that's when it's knocked down, not when it's laying down from a Well, AI you're card. gonna have to look that up real quick. Because if, if that's a three, that's a big difference. I mean, it's, it's down, if it says when it's down. I think when it's knocked down. Oh, he laid down, which is a difference. Well, a monster is knocked down. Attack rolls hit on three plus. Okay. I'm going to celebrate with a little bit more of 
a drink here while you get ready to go ahead and do your attack. Yes, what am I doing? Who am I fighting with? I'm fighting Mia. with Mia. Mia is fighting with a guitar. And she has 7 plus, but she's in the blind spot, so it's 6 plus, and that's it. 7! I just hit! Beast ear. What was that? What did you knock over? I don't know. You read your thing, I'll look. Oh, my chapstick. It's fine. Okay. Uh, there is a failure, so I can't fail this. So, I have a strength of 3 on the guitar, plus 3 from bonuses from weapon and gear and stuff, plus another one. So that is 4 plus 3 is 7. It has a toughness of 10, so I need a 3 plus to move. Perfect, yes. See, this is why we did all that prior stuff, so we could have some good Where's the meat? The meat hits. is already half gone. It went fast. <laughs> 3 plus. That's all that matters. Just. <laughs> okay. Yay. So that's 13 hit points left. All right. 13. Oh, are you going to move away? Or are you going to uh, stay there? Yeah, Paul was going to move back. Um, how about just one? <laughs> Evaporating quickly. Yes. Yeah, move him back one. And uh, it, one. And I, too, shall move back one. And we had a... I can't top up, Tom. That was the last of my mead. I have no more mead ready. I started a new batch, but I only started it last week, two weeks ago. I don't know. Beginning of the month. <laughs> Whenever the hell the beginning of the month was. Okay. So it won't be ready till beginning of January. All right. Uh, that was only two people that attacked so far. That's correct. So how about you want to do Grimby? Yeah, he's not going to get up, so you're good with the bow. So let, how about Grimby? Okay, go ahead. So Grimby's going to use the halberd. He has a attack. <laughs> the beginning of the month was the first. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I don't know how long ago that was. What Tom's, is today's date? Tom's even? on it. It, it happens 18. twelve times a year, I think. What? The first of the month. No way. It does. I checked. <laughs> you checked just now. <laughs> I've checked before. I was oh, confused. Okay. I didn't know if I was going. <laughs> so uh, we get two speed of two on the lantern, and what do I need to hit? <laughs> Now you Red says, now you remember Grimby. <laughs> okay, so I get, I have two to roll and I need what to hit. It is a four plus and That's he it. does not have anything else. So I need a four plus. Four. Eight nine and nine. Eight. That's, that'll work. So it's two hits. And we got Glorious Mane and the Beast tricep. Good night, Britt. Hope you sleep well. Good night. So, gl the glorious main says impervious. Um, impervious hit locations cannot be wounded. A wound or a critical wound will not remove an AI card or defeat the monster. What the hell good is that? I guess you can still crit, and there is a crit clause. Yeah, so I'm going to go... The other one has a reaction, so maybe I should just go with this one first, because it's either going to do something or not. I'm either going to crit or not, right? And then it doesn't really have a reaction or anything, so it just doesn't remove an AI card. All right, so... That's some tough hair. Yeah, it I is. I wonder what kind of hairspray it uses. So with the halberd, he has a seven. And then... Well, it doesn't matter, because... We have a strength of... Unless you roll a ten, it doesn't matter. Okay, right. No, it doesn't matter. So this just goes back in the discard, I guess. Yeah. So that's going to be a real bitch to get rid of. Only if, it, only if we had to shuffle. It only I mean, come back again if we had to shuffle. Oh, that's right. Okay. All right, Beast Tricep. On a failure, it's going to perform the basic action. So since it's laying down... It would get up and do it. It would get up and do it. All right. So now we need to figure out what you need to wound. All right, so I had a seven... Seven. And eight. I have eight. So nothing on your card. Two plus then, right? Yes. Okay. Five. That's a hit. So it's not a failure. Hit. Goes away. Hit. And we take this down one more. Twelve. <laughs> Are we talking about lion testes now? <laughs> Got some testes in there. So somewhere. many bits. 
All right. Bits and bits. Bo. Bo. Izzy. Roll. Roll. What do you need? Two. Seven plus. Now you also have a plus because you're on the stone so face. Five plus. That's a two, right? So plus two accuracy and plus two range. So five plus. Oh, I missed both. Now we we're cooking. Now four and a three. that's what we've been waiting for. Okay, that was the point. We got three of us that really we did dead. a fantastic job, and now it's all over. <laughs> now we're dead. All right. So, we now go to the lion's turn. So, oh. What? Tom wants a re-roll. Oh, we get to roll one die or both die? I don't remember what we said on that. One die or both die? Uh, Dice. I think it... Okay. I think we have to go with one, because it would have to work the other way. Elena says both because it was one roll. Okay, but if somebody but Tom uses says it, one. If they use it against us later as a monster roll, it will be both. <laughs> so you got to take the... <laughs> Bill redeemed it also, so both eyes. There, <laughs> there you go. Okay. Okay. But, it's, but the rule is one. <laughs> okay. On monsters. <laughs> I need a five. Yeah, five points. Okay. No need to even talk about that. <laughs> no. no, on my turn. I'm just going to waste it. No, don't waste it now. Let's <laughs> use it when we need it. <sighs> Man, when you laugh, that just goes red. Okay. That is it for us. So now, does it stand up at the end of its... Turn. In other words, its action is to stand up. It would up. stand up at the beginning of its turn. All right. So let's pull. So it gets cunning at the end, we have to remember. At the end of each turn, yes. Okay. <laughs> we appreciate your help, Tom. I'm sorry I wasted it. Uh, who's the monster controller? We'll start here. Oh, what was that? Brit cheered. Yay! <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Vicious Claw. Uh, pick target, random survivor in range. I thought Britt went to bed. Apparently not yet. She's <laughs> laying in bed and going to sleep. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I think my laughing woke her up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, random survivor in range. Uh, random. So, how do we want to do this then? One, two, three. <laughs> Four, five, six. It's a ten-sided tie. <laughs> We have a four-sided <laughs> die. Four-sided die would be better because there's four of us. But that person's not in range. Oh, okay. We well, need a we need a six-sided. Well, let's die. just roll. Let's just roll for each of them then. Whoever gets the lowest is the one that gets attacked. Okay. Four. Four. Nine. nine. And Mia gets a five, so Grimby's getting attacked. All right. Ah, she was in bed the whole time. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Grimby's getting attacked with a vicious claw. Okay, Grimby. Um, so I'm the monster controller. What is he doing? Uh, Grimby will go this. Oh, Grimby's here. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, Carl and 20 Games. How are you doing? Carl. We were doing well. And then I started rolling. Well, it's the first it monster tanked. attack. So, so. Is there a is there a space here in the? Uh... Yeah, I mean, Grimby could now use his uh, survival to dodge, and or surge. He could get an extra. So attack if I was in. to use the fecal salve right now, as an action, you can't. You can only use a survival. Oh, action. that's right, a survival action. Um, well, he's going to take two points of damage surge. if he doesn't, right? Because this... um, no, it would be so he, the lion has a speed of two, so yeah. it's rolling two dice. Has a two plus to hit. Does, Grimby does not have any evasion, and it's one damage. But after damage, target gains a bleeding token. So potentially two hits, most likely two hits. Um, so if I dodge now, he's still going to do cunning afterwards. So I'm going to. I know that's two hits. So I'm going to save my dodge for when cunning happens. So let's go ahead. Oh yeah, he's a day adjacent. Yeah, he is now. So I'm going to save it for that. So let's go ahead and, and do this attack. Uh, we didn't take dash because I talked us out of it, didn't we? Yeah, we did have dash as mm -hmm. a potential action, but we decided to go with 
getting plus one to all hit locations. Potentially. Yeah. But that's that's old news now. What is she doing? What's Ultimate that word? Ultimate multitasking, being in bed, and watching Twitch at the same time. I could never do that. Way too advanced. <laughs> Challenge to keep Emily redlining the mic with her laugh. Oh. <laughs> That's not hard. <laughs> Pretty, pretty much all the way through. That's Leland. He's the one that edits. <laughs> all right. So what does he need to hit? Two plus. Two plus. He rolls two. He rolls two. Nine and, and five. Twice. So two hits. Two hits. Two locations. Two locations because it's a so damage one. one hit in each location. Wait a second. Wait a second. Roll one more die. What kind of die? Oh, damage die. Yeah, one of those. One a, more. A ten sided? A three. Three hits. Why? What are you doing? Because it has a plus one speed and a plus one damage, which is what these tokens were sitting here to remind me about. All right. So it's two damage in three places. Two damage in three places? Because it's one damage here and one damage here. So it's two damage in three places because he hit you three times. Let me, let me see what you're saying. I can't see your card there. It has a plus one speed and a plus one damage. Because it's a level 2. Every time? Every freaking Son time! So, every time he hits us, he's going to hit us for at least 2, and then do 2 more with cunning? Potentially. Oh, yes. Oh, this is... Yes. This is god <laughs> Stupid kitty! Alright, so what am I rolling then? I got uh, 3 wait. hits. Elena yeah. redeemed re-roll. So re-roll 1 die, see if you can get a... Well... A one. I mean... I don't think to... you want to do this, because I'd have to roll a 1. I mean, she already did it, but... Uh... Well, I'll, I'll say, I'll say, it. we'll do it. I don't, no, let's just disregard it. You've got one for you. you got one we can do. Yeah. Save it. We'll save yeah. it. Because you would have had to roll one. Yeah, that's, the line that's not hit. All right, so let's do damage. So I'm going to take two damage to the chest, which he has uh, four on the body. So that takes it to two. I'm going to take another one on the chest. So that takes it down to zero. Which is good. I have the best armor right there. Yeah, yeah. One more hit. And one more hit. That's, that's going to do Not two the damage. body. And it's the waist. And I do have two on the waist. So, armor covered everything. Good. Good, 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 good. Now, I did have a reaction there I could use, though, right? I could, I could spend a survival and do surge and get an attack. You could have before it attacked you, yes. Oh, well, that's what I was saying. In between, we could do something. Yes. Do we want a retro? I mean, we already know what's going to happen, but I can go ahead and take the hit. Yeah. I mean, that's not yeah. changing anything. Spend a survival and we'll rewind in time a bit, and you can attack yeah, him first. Yeah, I don't see how that makes any difference. We had some good armor, yeah. So I'm going to attack <laughs> with... Because we had that shrine, halibut. which gave us a plus one armor to each hit location. And that which is... we took instead of the, two die. the uh, dash. So he needs four plus to hit. That's one, one hit. hit, and see, I guess this could change things, right? Oh, yeah, that could have changed things. Well, let's shuffle it back in because we can't, we well, can't, I mean, re we can't retro it because he would do different things. It would cause. So you're just not going to send your spend your survival. I won't spend the survival. Well, then take your survival back, and I probably should yeah. just put that card back. On we top. just need to remember those breaks. You do get bleeding tokens, though. Oh joy! Yes. Uh, you would get three bleeding tokens. Three bleeding tokens? Something's not right. Well, I get, no, you probably only get one bleeding token. I would think Because it says be after one. damage, bleed one. Target yes. gains one bleeding token. After, after all damage. Yeah, after all damage. So you get one bleeding token. I'll say, that's too goddamn bad. Just that would kill be, you yeah. outright after two rounds. That would rounds. be bad. That would be very bad. I mean, he just thematically ripped all my body armor off. And your waist Clawed me around the waist. And now I'm I'm bleeding a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. All right. So that's his that's his turn, right? Oh, how many bleeding tokens is death? Yes, five. Five. Five is dead. You only have so, five drops of blood in you. That's it. So I guess the question would be now. Bleeding token. As much as I hate to bring this up. He's going to cunning. I am adjacent. You am adjacent. So I am going to use the survival. <laughs> I'm going to use my survival to dodge because there is a break. At the end of each monster turn, the monster extends its claws. Okay, I'm dodging. 
If there are any adjacent survivors, target one at random and full move the white lion directly away from all threats. Full move is six. So away from all threats would be uh, like this. One, two, well, that's three, me. four, five, six. Okay. I would think that would be the away from everything. I don't know. Can you... Well, sure. Because if you're surrounded, you can't no, can move you away. can dodge that? Why not? Well, because it's... It's got a break, which is where I can spend my survival. Okay. That's what those things are for, right? Sure. Okay. Brave Sir Kitty ran away and bravely ran away. So he reached out with his claw, tried to get me. I dodged, See, out, dodged out of the way, and then he ran away. ran away. Brave Sir Kitty ran away. So, our attack. Can I still hit it with my... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. No. Seven. Do you, oh, yeah, you get seven, eight. Eight. Because you get plus two accuracy. You still can. Yay. So why don't you go ahead and do that first. Okay. You stole my die. Quit stealing my dice. They're all right here. Stole my die. Okay, so two dice. Seven plus to hit, but I have a plus two accuracy, so it's a five plus to hit. Yes. Yes. Crit. It's a crit and a four. Perfect so. hit, which doesn't do anything. Well, it does something. I mean, it's it potentially a, damages. It's a hit. Beast tail. It's appropriate. Okay. Uh, reflex. So it is going to do something after I roll either way. Uh, let's see. Strength of three? Four? I have no bonus to strength for being on the face, right? Uh, you have accuracy and distance. So I need a six. Okay. Five. 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 Needed a six. It is now going to full move forward in a straight line. So six forward. Fortunately, nobody was in front of it. And that's it. It's just now freaking far away from us. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we had a good start. So <laughs> what we can do now is... Oh, Elena said re-roll. Do we, do we nah, want to Nah, nah, nah. I mean, this gives us a moment to do some moves. Now, you can't move because you already... Or you can move. I cannot move because I can't move and oh, shoot. Oh, that's right. You can't move and shoot. Um, but we can go... You can go dig that monster. Are we sure that we don't want to, to re-roll on that, that wound and, and maybe get another wound on it? And or are we pretty sure I'm going to waste it? That then? is your call. <laughs> should I? It is I there. Uh, okay. I think it was here. Oh, I'm, I'm so. It's already paid for, so. We're worried I'm going to waste it though. I need well, a, roll higher than a five, right? I need a six. A six. Roll a six. Just Delena's, because she already paid for it. And she suggested it. She got click happy, and she... <laughs> she... Should I use it or not? She, uh, I'll let you guys decide if we use it. Prematurely. <laughs> Adiulated. <laughs> <laughs> A premature attention, yeah. All right. Okay. Do it. Let's get it off. We won't have to think about it anymore if we do it. We, if everything's done. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a five. <laughs> Did you get any bonuses? You got any bonuses no. from beyond that? Nope. Now, what about your other range? They have, he, ha, he has a... Uh, she has bone darts. She has bone darts. So, that's one, two, three, four, five. Then you'd be... How What's the range on the bone Six. darts? You could hit from there. Okay, move me over. <laughs> okay, so... Mia being our savior... <laughs> she can use her keratosis attack to auto-hit. So, I might need to do this. 
I have. Well, what's a bone dart going to do? I guess, how many uh, do you roll? One? I would only roll one, yeah, but I can say auto hit up to three. Because I have two red affinities plus the one that I always have. Do it. So I can auto hit up to three hits. I mean, I think I think we need to, to hit it with everything we got. There's an opportunity here, right? <laughs> Tom says I'll just save my rerolls for when John is rolling. I think he'll better, make better use of it. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> we need to start. That's what the Patreon money's for. <laughs> you still somehow miss on an auto hit. I could miss the wound because it's just an auto hit. You know what? What I, We could do this in a different order. Uh, we'll see. Wait, before you do anything. I can use the circlet right now. Yeah. Then we could use one of our, like we said before, the founding stone. This is a perfect opportunity. Okay. Because it hits from anywhere. Yeah, that's true. That's so, true. So that's what we'll do. Grimby's going to use his cat eye circlet. So as his action... We reveal the next three monster hit locations. Okay, um, hold on. I want to read this real quick. Before making an attack roll, you may declare Karatosis X in a loud, booming voice. If you do, that attack gains X automatic hits. X cannot be more than your total red affinities. When the attack ends, gain X hunt XP. So it's automatic hits, not automatic wounds. So I right. still have to roll the wound. So let's not do that right yet. That's, that's more end of the, we're getting close to killing it, let's pull out all the stops. So we look at the three, and then we find out, is there any of them that have, they all have crits. They so all have crits. Which one is really good? These two have persistent injuries, so we have oh, Fuzzy Groin. We can knock off the Ding Dong with this one. Yep. Beast Paw and Beast Flank. But if we get the Beast Paw, he ignores Grab, which would Take negate cunning. the cunning. Oh, we gotta do that. Yeah. Okay, so that one goes first yeah so that means um you can use the founding stone oh yeah. uh, no i can you uh, can because paul, it paul can. is he's the one that has it right so paul can use it and then we automatically get rid of grab yes so perfect well, i'm going to use the founding so stone. grimby used the cat eye Circle thing as, as his, his action. action does he want to move um that's right does a higher level lion have a bigger ding dog? Yes. I would think so because I would think that would mean he'd be alive longer. It's and you know how old men get. How old men get? Dangly. <laughs> I am going to use the founding <laughs> stone. So I am going to spin this as my action. <laughs> you sling the stone from anywhere on the board. Archive this card for an automatic hit that inflicts a critical wound. Woo! So, what happens? Your attack destroys the white lion's foot. It loses its leverage. The white lion gains negative one movement token. Gain one lion claw, white lion resource, which is what we need to make the other guitar. Awesome. Thank Persistent you. injury, broken foot. Ignore the effects of grab. There's the negative one movement that you put someplace where you can remember. Yeah, put there so I can ignore it. We get the what resource? The white lion... Claw. Claw. Perfect. This is one working out great. Claw. That's yes. exactly what we needed. White lion claw, and that goes to Paul. Carl prefers ring dings. <laughs> uh, whatever you prefer. <laughs> Keep to yourself, Carl. Okay, so there's the white lion claw, and... That is a hit. My two guys have went. The only one left is... Well, is Paul going to move? Oh, yeah. Paul should probably No kink shaming. That's right. Well, I no shame. I just don't want to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. He'll move over there. And then now it uh, leaves you with... Um, bone darts. Bone darts. So... One, two, three, four, five... Okay, bone darts. I roll one die. Are we gonna do keratosis or no? Or when we tore till I think we uh, wait a little bit. Oh, and we got another hit. So how many? We should be down to eleven now, right? Oh, I should move an AI card. Yes. 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 Down to eleven. Yes. Double check that. Make sure it's that important stuff. Right. We should remember that. 
Make sure those numbers are right. Coffee cakes. <laughs> yes, you should have said coffee cakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay. That's assuming I moved all the A cards from so what's the What's that other to. card out there for? Which one? That is the persistent injury of ignoring grab. Okay, perfect. So now we've basically eliminated cunning then, right? Because he can't do the damage. He's still going to move. But he can't do the damage. But he can't do the damage. Which is the two he's points still, hit every time. He's still going to run away from us, though. Don't care about that. Can't hit us for two every round. That was perfect. Yes, yes, yes. All good, right. Good thinking on that cat eye circlet. Got lucky. He okay. was the one that wanted to make that, too. So, good job, hon. Okay, now I'm going to roll my die and miss, okay? Wait, wait. wait. Try it. Use the other hand. <laughs> this feels weird. Yeah, well, <laughs> the other way feels right, and we know how that works out. <laughs> okay, so I need a 6 plus. No, I don't. I need a 7 plus. Why? Because that's what it says on the bone darts. Uh, are you... Okay. Good. I rolled a 4. Well, you need to use your other hand. My other other hand? Your other other hand. <laughs> which is neither of those and let me roll for you. <laughs> All right. That's what Tom said. By other hand, maybe use John's. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. So We already used your... Didn't we use her roll? We already used her we roll. We used her yeah, roll. Yeah, I already wasted your roll. You, yeah. It's of no value now. <laughs> All right. Uh, Lion's turn? Lion's turn. What's Monster it controller do? move? Monster controller goes to Grimby. What you get for your delivery? Did your speakers come in? Bat around. You gonna pop up the card? Bat. Speakers? She got speakers for her computer. Oh, I thought she just had hamburgers coming. They, those already came and were eaten. You already ate the hamburgers? Yeah. Damn, that was quick. But you gonna pop up the card, bat around? Oh, bat around. Bat around. That's <laughs> one way to burn through people's channel points, yes. <laughs> Well, we're going to have to do a lot more streaming before next week because next week's we're really going to need the rerolls. <laughs> yeah. uh, pick target, closest threat, facing in range. That would be Mia. You ordered people to speak for you, so advanced. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> speakers. She wears speakers. Pick target, closest threat, facing in range. Here. Yes. So, one, two, three. Oh, oh no, that's that's fine. That's fine. That's that's nothing. That's right. nothing. Speed of two. Speed of two. Five plus to hit, and Mia has one evasion, so it is six plus to hit. Got an eight and a, a perfect hit. You're See, I'm rolling high. Yeah, you're not supposed to roll high for the lion. Oh well, shit! You didn't tell me that. <laughs> you should let me roll. <laughs> I roll for the lion. You, you weren't the us. monster controller. Doesn't matter. Okay, so what? Uh, so two hits, so one damage. Yeah. Uh, mm. Uh-oh. Well, roll one more die. We got another re-roll. Now that's... And roll one more die, too, so... Okay, so we'll roll that. That's a that's... hit. So now we get one re-roll. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. Yeah, but we get to re-roll because he spent yeah. 1,500. Okay. Uh, wait, this is six. a low number you want, right? Yeah, it's a six plus to hit. So we want to roll lower to six. Seven. Seven. I think you just, <laughs> it's just going to do whatever we don't want. It has nothing to do with high or low. Okay, so that's three hits and it's three damage. One damage each location. Yes. Okay, this is you taking the damage. Yes, so, so it's three dice, three damage dice. One location each place. No. It's plus one damage, so it's two damage in three places. Okay, so. Two damage in three places. Okay. So that's head, head, and waist. So my head took four damage. Yeah. Fortunately. You have, yeah, good armor. Ar good armor. I had an armor of we four. Had four so. so I no longer have any head armor. Okay. And my waist takes two, which I had two on the waist. Perfect. So armor absorbed everything. Problem is, the monster playfully bats the survivor around. They suffer brain damage equal to the monster's levels. It's level two, but. You have a lot of insanity. Mia is quite insane. Absolutely. So she goes from 12 to 10. Okay. Perfect. So, it wasn't too bad. 
have to do some ghost hunting on the channel. So I yeah, guess that sounds like it'd be fun. <laughs> you just walk around the neighborhood looking in the neighbor's windows, see if there's any ghosts in there. If you want to roll less than seven, just use a D6. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, and Brett's going to use it next time they play D&D. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that was the monster's turn, right? That was yeah, the, the three you should walk around doing the ghost hunt. That'd be fun. Yeah, you definitely have to. All right. No. <laughs> okay, Elena and Leland have to walk around to ghost hunting. <laughs> oh, I was going to say Bill could just stay in the truck the whole time. All right. This is, uh, okay, so where are we at? Um, the monster's done. That was the monster's turn. Oh, so it's going to do cunning. Um, yes, but it will attack. So you actually have an opportunity to take another attack here if you want with a better weapon. Right? This is what we talked about before. You have yeah, a break yeah, there. Yeah, I can um, You You can spin surge. a surge um, and go ahead and attack again. Okay, so it's just going to move full move away from all threats after I attack. Yeah, so... Okay, so I'm going to spend a survival. Right. It takes me down to three. And, and attack I'm going with... To attack do you have with any, my... You have a... But you can't use a spear, so you don't have to spear. So you can't use... Use the guitar or the bone blade. Okay, so... Oh, i got to put a nose here that I did do that. Okay, um, so use whichever one's better. I mean, the guitar has a seven plus to hit. And the bone blade only has a six plus to hit, but the guitar has three strength, whereas the bone blade only has two. So it's, it's a wash either way. Give it a. I don't know. Choose. Leland shall charge fearlessly into that night. Leland's the hero. <laughs> Which should um, you go with? The lion, yeah. beast, guitar, or the bone blade? Which one should she attack with? She gets a, a she's gonna surge. Silence. I'm not supposed to have silence on like streams. Bone blade, perfect. Okay. Carl. Well, Carl. Bone blade. Thank you, Carl. Okay, so it is a six plus to hit. Got, got one. one hit. Got one hit. I got an eight and a four. I am hitting the fuzzy groin. You hit the monster right in the ding dong. Okay, this is where you need a this is where you need a crit. I do need a crit. Here, use the red die. The red die is better with crits. Now, think low. Think as you roll this, go. I want to get a low number, and then boom, you're gonna crit. <laughs> okay, I have this. Strength Everything of, seems to be working the opposite. The strength of six. Yep. It has a toughness of ten. Yep. I need a four to hit it. Six. six. I hit. I didn't crit, so we don't get the ding dongs, but I hit at least. Okay, so that's another, another point off, right? And then it moves. <laughs> Why the ding dong and go for it? <laughs> oh, I moved away from the thing. All right, so that was uh, monster health. Now it goes down the week. <laughs> Tom we says fun? he was sorry, too busy insulting other people in chat to contribute contribute to any decisions. Contribute? Right. Okay, so. We are at 10, yes. 10. And it's going to full move away. Which is the full strength of a level 1 lion now. Huh? Right? What? 10 is the, is the oh. uh, what a level 1 lion typically 11. is. 11. Okay, yes. so we, we beat it down to what a regular lion would be. Yes. There, so that's not too bad. We wiped that line one, out last two, time. One, two, three, four, five, because it has a negative one movement. Okay. Now, it doesn't hit you, right? It, do, it Well, we negate grab, so it's not going right. to grab me. It doesn't grab you. But it's just running away. It doesn't have, uh, like, the like the antelope where it knocks you Collide. Down. Collide. Does the monster collide with you if it is, if it goes through your spot? I thought we weren't going to bring up the dread stuff. <laughs> well, um, it's really just a question. Yes, it would collide with me. Which would knock me over. I think that's... I think that's the case. I think you're correct. 
The monster moves through a space occupied by a survivor. They collide, and the suffer survivor suffers collision. They are knocked down. I'm not hurt. I'm just knocked down. Yeah. Till the end of its turn. Yeah, or unless somebody uses... Encourage. Encourage. Which you might be able to do over here, <laughs> because over here you're not going to be able to do anything, but if you do encourage, you can get up and get to the blind spot. So that... It's going to cost us a survival to be able to do that, but it's correct. Yeah, yeah. Nothing quite like watching Bill screaming at a locked door. How do I open the door? How do I open the door? Okay, so <laughs> it's our turn, right? Yes, we're encouraging. That's, that's two, what we do. Three, Oh, you know what? I think something else we forgot is he can only move four. I don't think it's come into play yet. I don't think it's changed anything, but he really should probably be there. Because he took damage last time where he hurt his leg. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, I can't get to him. Well, then you can um, encourage. But I can use the circlet. Oh, and yes. then that could be another good advantage, too. So I might as well... I can still move, right? Oh, that's One, Grimby. two, three, four, five. And I will use the circlet. Oh, and you can't... Oh, you're just one away from being uh, able to hit it. I know, that's what I said. So I might as well use the circlet. And then we reveal the next three monster hit locations. Good night, Britt. Thanks. Night again. <laughs> beast flank, fleshy gut, beast femur. Lions knocked down, white lion vomits all over you, white lion negative one movement token. That one would be good if you got a crit. That would be. It would keep, them, keep running away from us. Yep. So how about we do it in that order then? Are we going to ensure a crit by using the last founding stone? Well, or? I don't think so because it's not doing anything other than making it move a little slower. So it's it's going to be negative one movement, then knock down, then gain one basic resource. Ooh. Cheers. Which one do you think? Basic resource or knock down? I mean, what are the chances of us actually critting? Well... The whole point of this card is to put them in the right the order you want, whether you actually get to do it or not. Did you put that in the right spot? Okay. Okay, so okay. that's what Grimby did. That's he what did Grimby that did. and he moved. <clears throat> so now, oh, and this will go to you when it's that turn. Um, Paul does have bone darts and can get in a range of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then he's within range. Oh, he can only go five. Four. One, four. four. One, two, three, four. And that, um, that's what I wanted to do. Four. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So he can still. Founding stones are. You can use them as long as you're using a melee. You can use them any time as you want. But if you throw it, then it's gone forever. It is a, a guarantee. Automatic that auto, critical. Yeah, wound. auto crit, crit wound. But then it's gone forever. Um. Okay, so I'm going to use bone darts. Yes, sir. Roll two and dice. And I want to roll one die. Why? Bone darts are one. They are one die. You're correct. I was looking at the wrong thing. And seven plus, and I have a plus one accuracy. So six plus. Six plus. Nine. Nine. Nice. And I don't have lucky. So now you need to crit. I remember that, too. Yes. Uh, no, I don't have oh. luck because it's not any affinities. Yeah, you have two affinities. Two blues. Oh, that's right. Okay. So, what we're we doing here? So, you need a crit. this is the crit. Um, this is going to be the minus one movement. So, this is Paul, and he has a plus one, two strength. The bone darts have a three, so that's five. So, I need a five or better yes. to hit. And a crit would be great. Crit would be great. I'll use the red die. Eight. It hits. It hits. The so blow lands on the monster's leg. Another hit. Another hit. We're doing it. We're doing it. It's nine left now, right? Yes. Down in single digits. 
And I'm not going to say that we're doing well because that would jinx us. And there's no such thing as jinxing. Good job, gotta John. Stay, just gotta stay consistent. Okay, so Izzy over there is gonna go, Mia, get up off your ass! Okay, do you wanna move while you're yelling? Yes, at? I do. Please. Do you wanna move still on the. Thing? I think I'm gonna have to run as far as I can. I'm not gonna be able to hit him. He's gonna because, continuously run. Because away. you're not gonna be able to get more than two, and up here you get those two automatically. So if he comes back this direction. You're he's better off with the range. Probably going to continue running this way. Well, he's going to turn and attack the nearest foe, which is probably him. So he's going to be coming back this way. And you can stay here, and that gives you plus two. Uh, yeah, but then you don't get the plus two anymore. Six, seven, eight. So you okay. here, you get seven. Okay. So I say you go here. Okay. I was just counting to see what the potentially was. What the potentially then, was. So you encourage, so you get up. Yes, yes. And then you can... Now, here's your situation. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because you can't do grab anymore, so you can go right up on that. Get right up you on get that. Get right up on that. You get right up on that. You want to go that side just in case. Draw even that way, potentially. So, what are you saying? You want to go here? No, stay here and he'll go that way, maybe, because he'll be running away from us. Although, I think uh, he'll, he'll still go, go this way. way. It doesn't matter. I was just saying for next time, but we really won't be able to get there next time. No, anyway, it doesn't matter. You're up. Yes. Got ear on its rear. Bone blade or katar. You know what? I'm going to use a katar because it does have deadly, so it's plus one luck with this weapon. So if I happen to roll a Perfect. nine, it's still a crit. Is that if it's if that's if it's paired though, right? No, it's always. Okay. <clears throat> okay, seven, seven, or higher. Okay. Combined, it's higher than seven. Okay. Good try. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. And did you add all your strengths and everything together on that? Strength? I have to hit it first oh, before right. strengths come in, but that's why I have so many tokens. That's right. Okay. And it has a minus one speed, we got to remember, and a, and a plus one damage, we got to no. remember. Minus one movement, plus one speed, plus one damage. Right. That's yeah. That's, I've been remembering okay. that. That's why I keep saying no. Right. Add one more on so that. So that is all of us. Then. Yes. Moving on. Moving on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. It's the lion's turn. That is now. No, you it's going... are the. Oh, I am now. Is he's now? Yeah. I okay. Just moved it over to you. Uh, is now going to cunning. Right. So we gotta move all this crap out of the way because it's gonna run right over here to the side of the board. Here. Yeah, it's been on for a while. I haven't needed it, so I just left it. I guess you don't have to type anything. Haven't needed to. Okay. All right. So what's it gonna do? Five. Uh, Move five. Let me do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There we go. And that was the end of my maid. And we keep on forgetting about Dr. Pepper. We gotta put the pepper cam. <laughs> pepper cam. Alright, does that look good? I think that red light sort of. Alright, good enough. Alright, pepper cam. Pepper cam. So now it is. Lion's turn. Uh, oh, why that, did, why the, did he cunning, move? the cunning's at the end of his turn. I thought it okay. It cunning's at the end of his turn. It right. needs to have turn first. Okay. <laughs> what happens if the lion <laughs> runs off the board? It doesn't it it's, fortunately does not. As happen. everybody knows, just like all the flat earth people, when you go <laughs> off to the end, you're dead forever. You just go for, actually what do they say? There's like a big mountain that surrounds the flat earth, which all the way around, which is the north or south pole, whatever. Right. A wall of ice. There's kind a of thing? wall of ice. That's how you know, and planes can't fly over ice, so you know, it's too high. Yeah. So yeah. it is the flat Earth. In reality, it turns and goes the other way. What does? The lion. If it gets to the end. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you meant the Earth. Uh, Leland doesn't believe that the, the Dr. Pepper is a real doctor. I mean, it says it right on the can. I don't see how you can. Few dad. He's been around for. There is no MD though, 
So we don't know what kind of doctor it is. I mean, I just disagree with Leland. Dude. <laughs> anyway. It's written. <laughs> the Antarctic ice wall that definitely exists and is a real thing. Okay. <laughs> the good doctor convinced Leland to bend over and cough. There you go. He peppered you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, lion's gonna claw. Okay. You gonna pop up claw? Um, I can. Yes. Good with an E for sure. Yes. Claw. Claw. Okay, there we go. Closest threat facing in range. That's. Bam. Um. That's not good. But she's in her block. She was in the. Oh, that's spot. not. That's right. So it would be. Grimby. Grimby Bindi. That's not good either. No. Pepper me once, shame on me. Pepper me twice, developing a kink. There you go. Fo sure. I'm uh, a pepper. He's a pepper. She's a pepper. Grimby. We're a pepper. Grim Wouldn't you like to be peppered too? Like Leland? <laughs> pepper me, baby. Talk like Shakara. <laughs> <laughs> Can I redeem points? <laughs> <laughs> I can game him though. I've got some. All right. Does Grimby want to dodge or anything? Um, I recommend. Yes, Grimby does want to dodge. Is there a break in the card? There is a break in the card. There's All a right. break in the flow. Grimby's gonna gonna pinch off the flow, <laughs> which is always dangerous. That's how that's how the toilet seat gets stuff all over it. Oh, gross. You don't want to stop midstream, right? Am I right? Wait a second. Hope we don't get hope we get raided by uh, Dave Luza at this point. <laughs> Hi, Cara. everybody. She'll talk to Kara if you show her your mini. So maxi. All right. Anyway, we're gonna get lost in what we were doing. So is, I dodged. Is Leland is Doc Martin a real doctor? <clears throat> yes, you dodged. Yes. Um, so he moves this way, right? There. You can only you're only dodging one attack. Footwear and open heart surgery, yes. It's in the name. What are you doing? I'm moving the map so it's more. Oh, doctor's in the shot now. Yeah. I'll move the pepper. Ooh, we're on the new fancy speakers. Okay. Anyway, so it rolls two, three dice. Two, three dice. Well, I dodged one, so it doesn't you even do have to roll. You dodged one, okay. So it only rolls two. Two dice. And what does it need to hit? Two plus. Well, okay. It hits. <laughs> it's, I mean, the lion's almost always going to hit you. Right. So that's, hit you twice, so that's two damage in two places. Oh, shit. Is there anything else I can High do High fidelity, Emily Laughter. I'm so sorry. Two... So two points to each location, right? Yes. So body and head. Well, good for the head. Uh. Good for the head. So that takes that down to two. Body, though, that's two damage. So that is... A light um, wound and a heavy wound, which means you are knocked down. But you don't have to roll on the chart until you right. take another head. Let me look if there's Oh, you don't else. have the... You have fecal towel? No. Yeah. I don't have the acanthus. No. So that's the other. It's Paul. So... Grimby's knocked down. Grimby's knocked down. Now you move still, right? Doesn't he? he doesn't he move? That's the end of his attack turn. So now he's gonna run away. Right. So, but he goes this way. No, he runs away from threats. Well, I'm not a threat. That would be he. That would be a threat. Directly away from all threats. Okay. So it would still run back. That. Why did I even put these back up here? It's just gonna run back this way. Four. And it's one negative one movement, right? So it's what's five this? movement. That's with the negative one? That is with the negative one. It normally All has a six. Right. Let me move the map around here a little bit here. Thank you, guys. All right. Move the pepper. <laughs> Tom says, I hope Emily laughing doesn't blow the mouth our first time. <laughs> Is camera shy? 
Eh, I think I was better off peppering it over here. Alright. There we go. There we go. So, that is the end of its turn. Yes. So now we get to go, but the damn thing keeps running away from us. So how are we gonna uh, how are we gonna stop that? The lion is not dragging because we have a persistent injury. Beast paw, which negates grab, so it's, it it can't grab we anymore. It's damaged, just running away. We damaged its paw, so yeah, that was that worked out really well because that we could broke be, its foot. That could be really hurting. Yes. Us right now. Okay, so it is our turn now, right? <laughs> As for the lion, I totally get it. I'd be running away as well if a large Dr. Pepper can with a camera on it came right at me. <laughs> okay, you don't want to get peppered. Don't want to get peppered. Right, Leland? One, two, three, four. We all know how that feels. Five. The lion prefers Sprite. I bet it does. You can get Sprite it. Sprite mixed well with Jägermeister. That is really good. Black licorice. Yuck. Now I want some of that. Okay, anyway. You can do it. Ooh, your brother got pepper sprayed? Oh, that would be awful. That's something I would happily never experience. Uh, what? I can move up Her and... brother's a criminal? No. Oh, I can't read it. I just assumed. Recently working in the ER in Detroit. I don't know why I got pepper sprayed. They were tackling a guy and security didn't realize they all got sprayed. Oh, I would be so pissed. Huh. Your brother's a nurse. Yeah, you can be a nurse and a criminal. They're not exclusive. What was that show where just, um... I don't show? know. What's the show where You what tell me! <laughs> the crazy nurse! Oh, With the uh, apple pie. What is that? Uh... I don't remember. <laughs> nurse Ratchet. Ratchet. Nurse Ratcheted. 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 Yes, Ratchet. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> we know you know. Thanks, Leland. Leland knew too. <laughs> Move your guy up there and <laughs> hit him in the ass. Okay. Um, okay. Seven plus. There's one. Ah, and hit. you get, and there's a nine as you get there. But the, it has to be on the wound part. Oh. <laughs> but I hit. Well. That's what matters. Yeah. And we'll roll this one. It has a fail, failure clause. All right. But it is the fleshy gut. So I need C L A W S failure clause. <laughs> yes. It has a toughness of ten. I have a strength of three, four, five, six, seven. I need to roll a three plus. Do it. If I roll a nine or a ten, it's a crit. What's the chances of not hitting this time? Six! Yes! I hit! I wounded it! Finally! I wounded it! Alright! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Are we down to eight now? Uh, yes. Uh, there it is. All right. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Paul can move four. One, two, three, four. And he is going to use the darts. See. And he can. He, have more. he can't. Well, yeah, but. Who knew? <laughs> I apparently did because I said she should have moved up more. Well, you guessed. About and you time. Can. I thought you'd have to change the description to John fights a white lion while I'm around somewhere else. Depends on the case, yes. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to. <laughs> dart it. I need 7 plus. I have, no, I have a plus 1 accuracy, so 6 plus. Six plus. Ah! Here. Oh, you touched it. <laughs> nine. Okay. So it's a nine. Beast flank. Okay. So what do I need? I need... It has a wound clause. So he has a strength of plus two, three, four, five. So you need a five. 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 Wound. Cat. Cats hate this. Yeah. They hate being wounded in the flank. Who knew? This monster is very upset. Attacker gains the priority token. Alright, that's fine. Where's that? Paul? Okay. 
<laughs> and that's another hit, though. Remove that AI card before you forget. AI card gone. Skelm says, now that's skills. You touched it. Pick up new diet and roll a nine. That's right. <laughs> They're totally fine getting wounded anywhere else. <laughs> it's just not... In the, no, just don't want to be flanked. flanked. Nobody <laughs> liked to get in flanked if they didn't know they were going to get flanked. Unexpected flanking. Get flanked from behind, you never... Um, so never be the since same. Izzy is still way over there and can't do anything, yep. I think she's going to encourage. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. I think I still want... One, two, three, four, and I can attack from... Or I can go up there. I might as well go up and get in the blind spot. I still want to move. Okay, well, you're encouraging first, right? Well, no, that's my turn. Right. Move and encourage. So, take my survival down to two. Yeah. And move me five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, One, probably... two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's it's going to be the same, same place. Spot. Is that it? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And you're. Oh, gonna... wait, you know what? It's going to be running that way next, isn't it? So I probably want to go that way and try to kind of head it off One, a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, over there. All right. And if nothing else, I can search the dead thing. Get Grimby up there in its hind quarters. Flink stink. All right, Grimby is going to do the old lantern halberd. Two die, four plus. He doesn't have any accuracy, so four plus. He also does have lucky, so... Two hits. Two hits. We got Strange Hand, Grimby Rages, Strange Hand, and Beast Back. They both have fa failures. Uh, which ones have the good? So there's a Persistent Injury of Lost Hand. That's a pretty good one. And this one gains minus one, so they're both good. Okay, so do you want Strange Hand or Beast Back first? I won't tell you what they do, but... Put these cards hand on. or back? Hand. Hand goes first. All right, strange hand. All right, so here we go. I'm going to... Uh, so with Grimby, it's a seven. And a strength, so it's an eight. Right? Yeah, so you need a two. I need a two. And back I hand. really yes. want a crit. Oh, my Lord. Did you touch that? I didn't... Not recently. That is a that. one. That was the only thing he could that, roll. This would be to a miss. Yeah, but this would be the perfect opportunity for a re-roll. Oh look at that! AJ redeemed King to Death roll. Nice. Well, you know. Here, blow on this. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Seven. That's <laughs> a, it's a hit. Six, really? Yep. And uh, yeah. that is. I forgot to move the die once. It for six. That okay. <laughs> so that's that one. Now I got another one here. We're going back. So now I need it's the same thing. I need a two, two, two. two. <laughs> oh yeah, you blew on this one. What the hell was I rolling that one for? Lucky I got a two. So that's another hit. So that goes away, and we're down to five. five. All right. This is doing all right. Okay. So this goes away. Just put that by you. <laughs> all right. Let's see where we are here. We're running out of cable. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It is now everybody's win, so it's the monster's turn, which now goes to Mia. Mia is a monster controller. Did you get your priority token? Okay. I did. Okay. And that is on Paul. Paul. So Paul he is here. Is the target. Oh good. Ground fighting's back. That's good. That means he's gonna lay down, right? The monster flops onto its side. Yeah. Whoop. Waiting for attackers to draw near. While ground fighting is in play, do not draw an AI card. When a survivor spends an action in the zone of death, 
which is all the blocks immediately surrounding the line. Yeah. Before resolving the action, the monster performs a basic action with plus two speed and plus one damage, which he already has plus one speed and plus one damage. So it would be basic action is two speed, so it would be a four, so five, what? speed of five, Yep. and a damage of three. So here's what I suggest we do. Let's move the hell out of the zone of death, because it says perform an action in the zone of death. So he can just move back one and hit from two away. You just move to move the hell out of there and sh shoot with a ranged weapon. And then none of that happens. Yeah, yeah. That would, and then be, he'll that stand would, be, up. It would be very bad. No, that's that's very good. What no, I said no. is very bad. Yeah, tactful. what you said is very good. Attacking where we are would be very bad. So, why it, don't... Performing his base action with a plus two speed, plus one damage on top of his plus one speed, plus yeah. one damage. is very bad. So that's what it does. It's done. Then. It, it flopped. All right. Now, it has a line there. Does that mean it gives us an opportunity to attack? It is a break in the flow. So we could attack it before it lies down. No. It flops. First thing it does is flop. Okay, so then we don't want to do this because that would... Well, well no, this happens before the zone of death thing. So immediately, yep. draw this card. Yep. The monster flops onto its side. Yep, got <clears throat> that. Waiting for attackers to draw near. But I, While we can ground, ground fighting is in play, do not draw AI card. Break in the flow. Right. So now we can attack before the zone of death thing takes place. Because it's after that. It's after the... <laughs> after the... After the line. <laughs> Just say yes, because I'm right. Yes. Okay, so... So... <laughs> do you want to pop ground fighting up there so they can see what we're talking about? We could... <laughs> My point being is, we could spend a survival action, one of these two people, or actually, actually anybody. Does that mean one person, or can anybody do it? Because if we all spent survival there, we'd all get a, basically an extra attack if we all surged. But I think... It probably is only one person, I would, because that would be almost too powerful. Surge might be only once per turn, also. What? No, it's, it's a... Once per turn. It's no different than encourage or dodge. Once per round, yeah. Once per round. So once per round, so that means one of us can do it. Uh, or does that mean once per round per A survivor, person? yeah, per person. Okay, so we have a break in the action here. Survival actions are the most common uses for survival points. There are four. Dodge, Encourage, Dash, and Surge. Survival Opportunity. The only time that survivors may dash or surge. Survival opportunities exist at the following times. During flows on monster AI cards, between actions on the survivor's turn, before performing reactions, after critical wound effects, or when a monster is knocked down. So it sounds to me like we could all surge, all three of us, could surge in this break before that happens. And then it's going to go to our turn. Yeah, I was pointing out the board control thingies to John. He didn't want to spend the money for it. They're a little expensive. Oh, yeah. That's... Yeah, it was like 150 bucks, and it's just basically hotkeys. You guys don't care if I do this. Click! <laughs> they take a ton of setup, too. Yeah. yeah, screw that. I'm too cheap for that kind of fancy stuff. Okay, wait. Tom had a question. Yeah. I thought you couldn't do damage until you get rid of the card. We can do damage. It's just going to uh, attack us back. Which, we don't want to do damage. We don't want to do damage from one away. If we get out the side of the zone of death, which is that blue box, then we can 
do whatever we want to it. But yes, but my point is, you can't see it here, but between where it says "Do not draw AI card" and "Win a Survivor," there's a line there, and that's when we can use our survival actions. So my question is, can't we all use a survival action right now before the zone of death part takes place in ground fighting? So in other words, he's starting to lay down. We all get to do something if we spend survival. Like an opportunity attack. Yeah, an opportunity attack. And then it goes down, and then we can move back. Because he won't attack after... Because it's happening in between. I, I say yes. I mean, I, we could dodge if, we, if he was going to attack something. We could encourage, if we wanted to right now, to have somebody stand up. Well, I mean, because it's a survival action is not you just, our act. It's not our right. action. It's a bonus action that if you want to spend some of your survival at that point, you just read it. The break I think with, you're right. It says, is the break with a caution symbol? Yes. Yeah, it's got is, a little caution symbol. Is the break symbol. with the caution symbol different than the breaks on other cards? No, they're all um, little down arrows inside a circle. So it is different. Oh, it is different. Yeah, that's got a caution symbol. So that yes. probably means something. What does that mean? Where the hell would I find that? Uh, it would be under break, wherever the break in the play is. Whatever you call that thing. Flow. Flow. We're Googling. That's okay. Leland will edit all this out. <laughs> what does the little lightning bolt represent? That's our action. Our act is what they call it. Monster card, where are you? Yeah, this is... I mean, it seems like what I'm suggesting is pretty overpowered. It does, which is what's why I'm hesitating, because it's really good for us, and typically things in this game are not really good for us. Right. So while everybody's doing that, how's everybody doing? <laughs> if you don't take an action represented by a lightning Alert. bolt, you're good. You're all good. That's what I was thinking too, because it's a survi it's a survival action, not an action action. Right, and you're spending. But your it's survival. it's an alert. I found it. Alerts are represented by a bar with an alert symbol. Actions following an alert contain important conditional information that must be considered to determine if an action is performed. Continue to perform any further actions on the AI card unless stated otherwise. Survival may not be spent during an alert. So we can't spend So we cannot. It. That makes sense. Because it, it's way too powerful for us to just beat the crap out of it while it's laying down and can't do anything afterwards. Yeah, so that's called an alert when it has a little... Alright, so we're not so... Up arrow. So basically what it's saying is there's a break in the action, but we can't do anything. Right, it, it all runs together. It's, it's just, so it it's seems just saying, useless to put it there. Well, it's saying paying attention to this, basically, is what it's saying. It's going, hey, you can't do anything now. Which, if I didn't say anything, would have been exactly the same. Okay. Yes. All right, so yes. now we're back to what it is. Okay, so it is going, it just laid down. It flopped. And now I'm going to move back one. Well, I... It's my turn. It's our okay. turn now. Okay. So I'm going to move back one and I can attack. Yes. With two. And if I hit, this just goes away. If you wound, yes. If I wound, it goes away. Yes. All right. So what I'm going to do, let me go back to the other screen here. Let me move the doctor back. Okay. So... This is Grimby, and Grimby has the halberd, and he is going to attack with, he's got a reach of two. It says, after attacking, if standing, you may move two spaces directly away from the monster. 
something we need to remember because I didn't have to stay in his spot. All right, so anyway, I get it. That is a like two die, and then that is a four plus plus. I have nothing else, so I need a four to hit, and let's do it. Shit. You rolled a three and a two. Okay, so I'm done. <laughs> so now you oh, man. you can nice. you can attack or you can attack and move, right? But no, I need to move and attack. You need to move and attack. Yeah. And I have bone darts, so I'll just throw my bone darts. Oh wait, man, you got all kinds of three points. roll one. One, 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 What? I needed a four. four. That is a hit. Yay! Thank you, awesome. Elena. All right. Soft. Belly. Soft belly. Uh, a debilitating blow to the soft seven, belly. eight. So I need a two, right? Yep, need a two. Two, and I want a crit. What Three. <laughs> All right, well, good enough. It hit. So that just goes away. So now we're back at uh, four. Uh, we're down to one, two. That's a mood. So that's basically not four. in there. So three, actually, because the mood's out. Well, it will go back in, right? It will, but currently if we... Well, yeah. Okay. It's, it's four. four. It's four. All right. Yay! How much more cash you got? <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's right. That goes there, and on his turn, he will pop up. All right, so now you can move and attack. I can attack and move because ground fighting is gone. Oh, Because okay. he wounded. That's right. So now I can use my guitar. I need two dice, please. Yes, he tickled the kitty's belly. And by tickle, we mean he sliced it. Yes. I halbreded it. Halbreded it. Halbreded it. it, it, it. Okay, I, what do I need to hit? Seven. Six, because I'm in the blind spot. Yes, six. Jesus. Okay, the two or the three. Don't re-roll. No. Just. <laughs> just. Okay. You want to move? Oh my god. Uh, you the don't dice have to move. freaking hate me. All right, so you don't have to move. Do you want to move? Um. One, two, three, four. He's gonna get up in the blind spot, and I gotta use that axe. Or no, I already have used the X once, so it's not a big deal. But it's up to you if you want to move. I mean, if I move like over here, we'll drive it that way. Is my thinking. Well, move it. I mean, it's move not going it to go this way. Move anyway. it over here. Then move over there. That'll make it drive go it. this way. And at least go, it'll go this way. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. Paul's gonna go over here. Right, one, two, three, four. Okay. He is going to use the axe. He needs those are the two. Axe it? Those are what you just touched, right? That are the one, those are the two I just touched. All right. So I want. Um. I need to roll two six plus. I have a plus one accuracy, so five plus. And you're in the blind spot. So four plus. Four plus. Four plus. You got a perfect hit on one and a miss on the other. Beast me, you hit the white lion's sturdy kneecap. Um, That's not working. <laughs> Tom says, stop touching dice, you're breaking them. <laughs> Alright, what am I doing? I'm rolling for to hit. Kneecap. And I have a 7, 8. So I need a 2, a 2, and... Wait, no. It's not Grimby. Oh, it's not Grimby, it's Paul. So, okay, 3, I need a 5, right? Where is his... Your bonus? accident? So, He's got three, four, five. Yeah. <laughs> Eight. It's a hit. <laughs> Put the AI card in there before you forget. Elena says Emily should not be able to touch any dice we give away. Leland says really skewing the reroll economy here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> AI card goes away. Okay. All right, down to three. One, right? two, three. Yes. All right. So that is everybody but Bo. Izzy. Izzy. 
You can move up to five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you are going to be one, two, three, four, five. You'll be able to do it. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Want to do that? One, two, three, four, five, right. six. Okay. But no, you can't move in to use the No, bar. I can't. So, why don't I search the icky remains of the other monster and then run up? Sure. I will not touch the dice, I promise. Alright, so you, you're gonna search the search the remains. Yes. So, dead monster. One die? If the monster is. Uh, so you're doing the scavenge, which is an action. So go ahead and roll, and I'll tell you what you get. <laughs> I'd like, you need to roll high. So. Do I die? <laughs> Actually, find nothing, archive this terrain. Oh, phew. <laughs> Let's see. We could have. We could have got a basic resource or gain a random resource from a monster resource deck of your choice. Oh, that would have been nice. That would have been <laughs> really fantastic. Nice. Instead, wow. Emily searches remains, rolls dice, so we're facing a zombie lion now. <laughs> Alright, you want to move? <laughs> yes, please. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up moving. He's going to pop up. And he's still going to run. You got to, uh, no. Hmm? Yeah, he's still going to cut you, him. That's at the end, so you oh, do the, the AI end. card Dang first. It. Bat around! Closest threat facing in range. Which would be Mia. Hold on. You know, it would be real easy if I had one of those little button things I could press. Because <laughs> by the time, uh, time I get the card up there, we're already done. You're already done reading it. What you need to do is pause. Say bat around and then pause. And then. Closest threat facing range. Which is. Mia. Okay. Speed of two. Okay. That was three. Because he has a plus one. What does he need to hit? Five. Well, you got two of them. And it's one da two damage each. So two damage in two places. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait. Oh shit. Four damage to the body. Son of a. Good night, Carl. Good night. You're getting off right before the first death. No, I can't. Mia can't die. Well, sure, sir, as hell can. You just did four damage to the body. But she's got two armor. Oh, yeah, you're lucky. So she's just knocked down. She's knocked down. But she'll get up again. Never going to keep her down. Okay. Um, but after damage, the monster playfully bats the survivor around. They suffer brain damage equal to the monster's level. That's only two, and you it's got ten. Two. Yeah. That's no problem. Can't really write in that spot because it's no, all worn out. No, that's because we don't have something solid. We're writing on, we're writing on sponge. Squishiness. All right, so it's yeah, it's the Sega. So it's yeah, we can still do that too. You use a savior thing on, but not this turn because you're knocked down. All right, so now we can get Paul to run up there and get in the blind spot. Right. So move Paul One, to the two, opposite side. One, two, three, four is as oh. far as he can go. Well, then move him back, and let me move Grimby over first. <laughs> One, two, three. Four, five. Oh, shit. Uh, no. One, two, three. Let's just put Grim him there, because he can attack from two away. I mean, no point in blocking. Let's go ahead and chum him. Chum. All right, so chum, using the halberd. Needs a, he rolls two dice, four he needs plus. four plus. Four plus. Six, Six and, and a, a perfect, perfect hit. hit. 
Okay. Oh! Well, looky here. Trap. Okay. Do we have the trap? We don't have the trap card scan, do we? No. Reshuffle the hit location deck. Okay, so the other hit is gone now. Yep, negate it. All right. Shuffle that while I read this. The attacker is caught in the white lion's ruse and savagely mauled. Attacker is doomed. Perform basic action target the attacker. Boop. Oh, you know what? Yes. Paul's Aaron has a priority target, so when we attack Mia the other time, we shouldn't attack Mia. We should attack Paul. Oh, it's too late to rewind yeah, now. Yeah, we need to remember that. Doomed. You may not spend survival until this card is resolved. Oh, shit. Trap reminder rules. A trap cancels all the attacker's hits and ends their attack when a trap is drawn. Knockdown monster will stand. After a trap is performed, reshuffle all hit location cards, including the trap card. Check. So, Check. Per perform a basic action. Okay. Basic action is speed of two, three. Roll three dice. Needs a two plus to hit. Two damage to each location. But I can't use... Cannot use any survival. survival. Shit. Oh, shit. Well, those are pretty goddamn good hits. Yes. Nine, nine, and three perfect hit. hits, which is two damage to three places. There's nothing I can do because I can't use survival. Let me see. Craze. What's the craze do? Mm. Wait! We're waiting. Yeah, because I have a feeling it's going to be good for us. So I'm going to wait. <laughs> you want to re-roll on that, or is that a waste? Well, I got. I can only re-roll one of them per our rule. And so it's, it's a two plus to hit, so it's, it's, he's most likely going to hit. Because Grimby yeah. doesn't have any kind of evasion or anything, so it really would be a waste. Well, yeah. The only way you could not be getting hit is if you rolled a one. Yeah. Chances are no good. So let's just see how this plays out. Because this is going to be bad for, for Chum. Yeah. Chum might be chummed. And there's nothing. Since we can't use survival, I can't dodge or anything. So let's see. Body. Body. Well, that's going to be already one on that. But I can go ahead and roll these, right? Because wait, once. Wait, wait, do you have. What's the. No, you don't have the acanthus plant. No, but. Go ahead and roll the other two. But I guess my point is you take all of it first and then you do the, the thing. Severe right? injury? Yeah. You don't get severe injury, severe injury, severe injury. Over right. Over no, again. you would only get one severe so, injury on the body. So really, it's good if I roll bodies now. And there's another body and a foot. So the foot, I would take two, right? Yes. So that's okay. That's a light injury light on the injury. foot. Light injury. And now I'm going to have to roll on the critical. Everybody cross your fingers. This might be where I need that roll. Okay. Roll. All right. Roll high. This is on body, right? Yes. Wait. Have Not you, the red one. Have you touched this one in a while? Don't don't roll the red one. Let me wipe it off. I'm just, don't roll the red one. Would you roll the red one? No. Crit. <laughs> you are bowled over. I'm not going to deal the with that. The blow sends you sprawling and you are knocked down. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Whew. See, I wiped it off. I got, okay. your, I got your goo all off At of least it. not dead. That is, that is the best possible outcome to that. Yes, that could have been bad all the way around. Okay. So that is... Why did that happen? Was that... Because I think... Was it his turn to... Trap card. Trap card, that's right. Trap card. All right, so the I went, hit, we drew the trap card, negated everything, he turned around and knocked me down, so now it's on. So now one, two, three, four, he can get in a blind spot now, right? He can, yes. One, two, three, four. All right, so let's do Paul's Aaron. Sneaking around to the back. Bone axe. Bone axe to the back. He needs a... That's a six. And he has a plus one accuracy, so he needs five to hit. Oh, he's in the blind spot. So he needs a four to hit. Two and nines. Two nines, and once again, I don't... It's the wrong guy for the lucky charms. 
Uh, it didn't matter this one anyway, because it's not the... Beast Temple and the Beast Scapular Deltoid. Both have failure clauses. Uh, do the temple first, because the other one will run away. Okay, temple. So I need... He's got a... Three, four, five. So he needs a five plus. And it's one hit. Five. Five, yes. So there's one. Okay. Do it again. Seven. Seven, yes. That's two hits. That takes him down to one, right? Yes, one more. One more hit point. Oh my gosh. <laughs> John is on a roll. <laughs> All right, good. This is now. I'm starting to feel better. <laughs> now you are now. It's almost dead. <laughs> yes, that's usually when I feel the best. So should Izzy? Ah, damn it! Izzy can't. Izzy can't shoot. She's too far away. She's one too far away. So. Um. Izzy's gonna have to spend her survival to encourage Mia. There you go. That's a good idea. Now. This is where Emily gets a crit wound on the final attack. That's, that's, sure, that sounds like a good plan. So Mia's up. Five. I can get around to the other blind spot. Okay. And... Use the guitar. Use the guitar? Because that's got the, the yeah, crit. Yeah, crit's on a nine. Yeah. So what do you got then? Six plus to hit. Nine and a two. That's one, one hit. hit. That's all we need. We only need one. Yep. Glorious main. Impervious hit locations cannot be wounded. A wound or critical wound will not remove AI or defeat the monster. <sighs> well, wait a second. How are we ever going to win then? We have to hit it again. Okay. This, this hit's not going to... So who is this that's doing it? Do you have the... You don't have the founding. I mean, I could still try for the crit, which would give us... Um, you can, and you get a lucky, right? So you need a 9 or a 10 to do that. Yeah. All right. So roll a 9 or a 10. I am just, just need to roll a 9 or a 10, that's all. 7. That's not a 9 or a 10. It's not. Okay, so... So if I had rolled a 9 or a 10, we would have gotten the Shimmering Main White Lion resource. And Mia would have gotten a plus 1 strength token. However, what we get is nothing. Okay. But. We're done. But what? Okay, so that is. The lion's turn. Lion's. That was our turn. That was our turn. It is now the lion's turn. Um, can you move? I suppose we could. I mean, why not get up where you can hit if you. Well, which way is it going to go? I mean, it's not going to go this way now, so it. No, would... it'll go this way. This is the only way away from everything. It wouldn't just run over and uh, be good that says, way? Uh, well, I mean, we haven't done it that way to this point. It it's hasn't needed been, to. It's always been away from all survivors, which would be this direction. Right, but it would only go one. Yeah. One, Full two, move three. away from all survivors. Okay. I mean, I mean that's the way I read it. keep it cornered in the corner? Yeah. Cornered in the corner. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. But it's at the end of his turn. So the first thing it's going to do, Paul Zarin's still a priority target, so it's going to turn around and attack him. All right. Speed of three. Should I roll this one? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we want <laughs> we want me to roll all ones. That's what I want because it's a two plus to hit. He has he has plus one evasion. Oh, he does. So it's a three plus to hit. Yeah. So I need to roll ones and twoses. There's yes! a one and a yes! two. <laughs> And a nine. So there's one hit. One hit. <laughs> and I could spend survival. And, and, and I am going to... He is going to spend survival and dodge. Um, okay. No. Well, Why not? We, yeah, you would have had to do it before he rolled. But, Why? Because that's where the break in the flow is. Oh. But, yeah, do it. Um, Leland says, oh no, Paul's Aaron is my favorite PC NPC. Elena says Emily's low rolls come in handy. Yeah. Leland says, can I re-roll the monster's misses? Yes. You can. <laughs> but I'll Dr. Pepper your ass if you do. <laughs> but should you? No, you should not. Um, it would only be one of them. 
So you could, if you want to. You could re-roll one of the misses. But... There it is. <laughs> All right. Do your do your best. <laughs> if a character dies here, do they also get written out of the D&D adventure? <laughs> we don't want Paul Zarin. No, Tom. <laughs> oh, no. That's too bad. So that's not, now, you could... I can't use uh, survival because I did it on the other one. Right, so you dodged so, one. So, so you still we'll taking... take one hit. One hit, but it's two damage. Two damage. All right. We're good, because he hasn't even been hit yet, so... If he does, can I re-roll the re-roll? I mean, yeah, if you yeah. want, but... It's waste. He has two, so... He takes it. Okay. He had, he had waste armor, so it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. All right. All good. right. Uh, he's going to cunning now. So you said he's going to go this way. Yes. He'll stop there, right? He can go as far as he can. Okay. Well, I mean, it doesn't go on the edge. It stops there, right? right? Okay. All right. Yeah, Leland knew he'd be fine just trying to ratchet up the tension. Yep. Yeah. Nurse ratchet. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the lion, right? Yes, it is our turn. Okay, so um, let's... We got blind spot capabilities right there. We who, do. Who are we going to let potentially have the kill? I mean, I'm just going to stand up unless Lots somebody encourages. Turn, yeah. Mia or Paul Zarin could potentially kill this thing. Or. Or Izzy. Izzy, Izzy. still has a chance too. Yeah. So let's do the who order. Goes first? Is it going to be who wants to, to. Izzy, Paul, or Mia go first? That's true. Mia, <laughs> Mia never gets the killing blow. We should let her have her moment in the sun. Right? I mean, Mia's got skin cancer at this point. <laughs> so many third degree burns. <laughs> All right, so. Uh... Izzy. Let me ban you. Are there any weapon proficiency things that need to happen? Uh, um, Paul Zarin's already got his axe proficiency, and nobody else has proficiency except Mia. But we couldn't bring the spear with us because it it's was heavy. it was a heavy weapon. It was too hot. It was too hot to carry, it. and it was too heavy. So no. So I say, let's Izzy, let let's Izzy, let do, Izzy it. do it. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Now so, who's got the best opportunity to hit? Uh, all mine roll two dice. All right. All mine are basically the same. Izzy go, and she can do it without with the bow from a distance. So let's hope this. I mean, she's just a baby. She's like what one one lantern year old. That's right. This is her first. This first is hunt. her first hunt. How great would that be to come back from your first hunt saying you killed the lion? Okay, so I need seven plus. Yes. You got a hit. I got one hit. Beast ribs. Um, it has a strength of three, four, and it has a toughness of ten, so I need to roll a six. Six. I can do this. No, you can't. I can't do this. Okay. So that's it for Izzy. Okay, uh, how long is a lantern year? Are you really sending out toddlers to fight? <laughs> yeah, we do whatever. They pop right out, and then we throw armor on them and ship them. A lantern year is a varying length of time. It's not like a Earth year and Earth there's year. There's no sun in Kingdom Death, so it's no, however long a lantern lasts, no time. So which is different amounts of times. So no, nobody really knows how old they are or anything. So here's the thing. If Paul goes and he misses, then Mia's going to get the kill. If Mia goes, it, it doesn't matter. Let, let Paul go. Let's we'll see if Paul can do it. Two, I mean, he three. has a lame leg. Let him have some joy yeah, in his he, life. He, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we all feel sorry for Paul most of the time, so poor guy. 
<laughs> Seems like the right thing to do. I give him a pity kill. <laughs> All right, so he rolls two. He needs a five plus. Here's a six and a nine. And yeah. Beast Elbow and Beast Maul both have failure clauses. Okay. Uh, this one cancels any future any other hits, so do this one first. Alright, so he has a plus A pity pepper. One, two. He has a plus five. We're attacking the beast maul first. He has he has a five. A strength, strength of five? Strength. So, so you need, need a, a five. five. Five plus. Four. The monster roars triumphantly. Roll a d10. Seven. On a four plus, the attacker suffers one brain damage per monster level and is knocked down. Okay, that's a... He's got plenty of... He's still insane. He's got five left. I think being knocked down cancels your other attack. Okay. I mean, you think, or you... I mean, it makes sense that it, it would, would cancel. It would make sense. I, I, you're probably right. Knocked down again. He had uh, performance anxiety. Who did? Paul Zarin. He doesn't Is right he now. Out? Only, Only in this situation. Not in baby making. Somebody does. Who does? Somebody else. Campbell, I think. Yeah. Knock down. The survivor is knocked down in the middle of their attack. The remainder of that attack is canceled. Okay. All right. So now it's Mia. Well, it's rare to be a fighter and a lover, Leland mm. says. So okay. Swing it around here, Mia. You can now, do this. We can do the savior thing if we wanted to. That would get her. Would that get her to the event? Because you're going to use. You only need to use one as an auto hit, right? It would be auto hit, not auto wound. But it would be a hit. And I'd still have to roll to wound. But it'd only take one hunt XP to do it. Yeah. So, you don't have to roll to hit. Right. You only have to roll to wound. Yes. And your wound, you got a shitload of strength. Do. I say, use it, move okay. her up one. Caratosis. You gotta one. yell it, right? Caratosis! There you go. One. Okay, so she hits. Yay! The beast femur, the blow lands on the monster's leg. Okay. One chance. You need a what? I need three, four, five, six. I need a four. Four or better, and this is all over. Should we have John roll it? I think, that, yeah, this is, this is really bad. No, roll the big die. No. That's, Can't, a, that's 20 a 20. That, doesn't that, work. that gives us a lot better chance. <laughs> Just trying to get her off for a second while you roll. Okay, we need a four. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> okay, roll it. <laughs> I got a five! I got she a got five! five. She, she got a five. <laughs> I was going. I wanted it to be a cliffhanger. For next week. <laughs> yes, I killed it. Mia killed it. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> well, you know that went far better than I thought. I thought we were going to be some. <laughs> That's the meanest cliffhanger somehow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, uh, we survived. I was sweating a bit there, so I, I mean we were doing pretty well from the very from the get-go, but it could have turned. It could have turned. 
Very bad. Very, very, very bad. All right. Okay. Let's see. What do we get? Oh, crap. We each get two hunt XP. We each get two. Two. Because we did a level two lion. That that takes Paul Zarin to a um, story event we can do. Uh, Izzy and Mia as well. And Grimby gets the first one, too. Woo! Lots of story events. So we get we can do that here. Uh, one weapon proficiency level if we are already weapon proficient and yeah. use that weapon. Yep. That's... Paul gets that. Paul okay. is now... Oh, he didn't make it to the next thing yet, but that's okay. And our rewards are four basic resources and six white lion resources. Six white lion six. resources. Can you move it? We got it, Scum! I rolled a five! I needed a four and I rolled a five! <laughs> Alright, so let's lay these resources out. We already have the lion claw that we needed, which is one of the main reasons we wanted to fight this. So we get six, right? Yes. Another lion claw. Cat bones. Another lion claw. We got two more resources. So that means that means we could make another set of guitars. Yes, if we get enough hide. I think it's hide the other thing. Yeah, so for level one, you get eight resources, and for our level two, you get ten resources. So that's why we hadn't been doing the level two, because it's almost not worth it. It's quite a bit harder for not that much more reward. And we get four of these. And you get two hunt XP, which is kind of good because then you can get the milestones and stuff. That, but it's also closer to retirement. That, that's sort of your lantern years in a way, right? I mean, or sort, sort, of sort of your of. aging. It's your aging. Sort of. But, oh, more fucking love, love juice. juice. Got some love juice. Another broken lantern. Two more broken, two broken lanterns. lanterns. You know, I probably, you know what, I, you know what, I'm going to shuffle these because I think that's what I put back in. It is what deck. you put back in. Um, so that's not. He didn't shuffle the cards. I, when we've cleaned everything up, I just put them in the front. So that's probably not. All right, good enough. Four. Monster organ, monster hide, monster bone, monster hide. Hide is good. All right. We can make and some leather and get some good armor pieces. Uh, we do have. The Lion Claw that um, Paul Zarin had. Did we have any other resources? That's it. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Let me, uh... No testes. No. Lame Leg Paul's got one. Got all the love juice you need, baby. Yeah. He's the matchmaker, so... He's giving his love juice to the others. Who? Paul? Paul. Because <laughs> he's a matchmaker. Paul's squirting his love juice all over the... Bedtime for Scom. After that comment. Sleep well. Good night, Scom. You got a lot of work tomorrow. You better go to sleep. <laughs> what the hell time is it over there? Five hours later than six hours later than now. So. Is it one in the morning? It is one in the morning. What the hell are you doing? I think I don't know when daylight savings happens for you, so it might be different. Yeah, one a.m. Okay. Jeez. Well, thanks for watching. We uh, came out a lot better than I thought we were going to. Six or seven? That's freaking early. It's way early. Oh, she gets to sleep like, in. Oh, I don't get out of bed till eight thirty-nine lately. That's a pretty specific time. <laughs> Between eight thirty and nine. Age. Uh, need to paint the puppies. Oh, oh well, not not the puppies. The puppies. I yes. I was gonna say paint the puppies sounds like some kind of really. <laughs> <laughs> weapon. Who's getting weapon proficiency? That's Izzy and uh, Grimby. Uh, no, you yeah. get, he doesn't have a weapon to be proficient in yet, so he can get one. Then. Okay. Yeah, he just got the second thingy, right? Second hunt XP. Uh, he just got these two, so, so he can get a weapon proficiency, and I think we're gonna say spear. Okay, and roll a die. Three. Painting the puppies is not a euphemism. Yeah, it certainly sounds like it. So, gain plus one permanent strength. All right. Good and job, Grimby. What should Izzy be proficient in? Should we make her proficient with the bow? Um, I don't think we have many proficient sure, bow yeah. people. And then roll a die for her. Six. Six. She gets one random fighting art. Art. 
Yeah, working nights would suck. I hate that you have to do that, Bill. Now, Paul Zarin is at his second nice, hunt, hunt XP. Okay, well, we'll let's get this random, just, random fighting art just first. Just making we don't don't forget. Random fighting art. Extra sense. Ooh, interesting. You may dodge one additional time per round. Ah. Huh. That's pretty awesome. Here, just leave that out so I can write that down later. That's okay. Okay. That's awesome. That's. Then that. Mia and Paul are on the second one. Yes. So that says improved reflexes. The years sharpen your reflexes. Roll on the table below. Roll two d10. Okay. Oh, we were supposed to roll 2d10 before, too. Well, hell, that makes a big difference. It does make a big difference. Do it again. Roll 2d10 for Grimby. For Grimby. That's, 17? Uh, no. That would so be... 10. This is the 10's place. Yeah, and the so other one's a 7, seven. so it's 17. No, it's 7. it's 10 plus 7. No, if that was a... It's that a was, 10! If that was a 7, if that... Then what's the 1 mean? What if I rolled a 1 there? What would the number would that be? It would be 8. No, it's a tens place. It's ten. You rolled a ten and you rolled a seven. Oh, this so is 17. not. This is not you're one to a hundred. No, you're adding them together. Okay, I, usually, <laughs> usually you roll this as a d one hundred. So okay, so yes, that would be seventeen. Seventeen. Grimby gets plus one permanent accuracy instead of strength. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. And then roll two again for Izzy. That's 14. 14. Ran one random fighting art, so she's the same. Okay. Now roll two for Paul. Uh, that would be 12. It's the 17 because we're adding them together. It's not a, a tens place and a, hundred, and a ones place or whatever. You're adding the two numbers 12. together. For who? Paul. Paul. 12. One permanent strength. That gives him a plus two strength now. Woohoo! All right. And, and for Mia? Eight and seven. Fifteen. Plus one permanent strength, which gets her a plus two permanent strength. That's all right. At least you're going to have to go with us next time then. Yeah. All right. All right. That's everything? Uh, that was for Hunt XP, right? Yes. Yes. All right. Is that everything for what we win when we win this one? Yes. So then everything after this will be going to the showdown phase. Settlement phase. Or settlement phase, I mean. Yes. So we're done. We're done. Good job. Yay! Two hours and 19 minutes. So it did take a little bit longer. I think a couple, we had a couple really good hits up front. And we, yes, I think using the, uh, the key there was getting that damn uh, founding stone at the right time to be able to take that damn grab out. Yeah. That grab really. Man, that would have killed us. I think that would have taken us, us down. Awesome. Okay. Uh, next week, do you want to read for the teaser to say what's going to happen next week? King's Man. Yeah, next, next week's going to be one to, to tune in there. But I will say we have... Enough lion claws now, I believe, to have two sets of guitars, and with the guitars, maybe. But we definitely have enough for one, which will give you a set. But yeah, what goes with where's? Um, what do we need with the the lion claw? We need something else. What? Where do you make it? At the catarium or the catarium? Catarium. Nemesis encounter, King's Man. Where the hell is that? Oh, it's in the back. Silly. Let me look real quick while we're here. There it is. To make the... Mm -hmm. We need one lion claw and one hide. Hide. And we, we have, have two, two hides. hides. And I think we also have a hide still in our... No, so. here's a hide. That's a white for a hide. So, we could actually make two... Now, what... I don't think we want to, though. What does the... What does it do? If you've got one there. If you have Yeah, a, I think what, we have, have one set's good. I don't think we need two sets. What does it say? It says... Deadly, plus one luck with this weapon. Paired, when you attack, add the speed of the second lion beast guitar to your gear grid. So you get to roll four dice instead, too. Right. Four, you get to roll four times. So, as much as you miss, you need every additional die possible to hit. 
Yeah, but I can't have four guitars. <laughs> no, but you'd have two people that could roll four dice. That's pretty damn good. Is the big heavy spear going to be good against the king's man? The, the big heavy spear. The king spear? Well, we got a couple good things going on with us next week. We'll have week. the sword next week. We're going to have the sword. Erica with the sword. Which, like I said, you roll one speed, but you get a nine on your uh, strength. strength. Strength of nine. Bef- plus whatever your strength yeah. is. Like if Mia has this, she already has a plus, what, three strength? Yeah, but Erica's the one that has oh, it. Oh, that's right. Cursed. Erica's got it. And But she has a plus one strength, so it's a strength of ten. So automatically, before you roll, you got a ten. And he has a toughness of 12. So pretty much going to hit every time. Well. I mean, going to, yeah. With me rolling. Now it's slow, slow. curse, so cumbersome. So John's going to have Erica. Here's the problem with it. It's slow, curse, cumbersome, city, and uh, Which means you can't move and attack. So gains devastating two when fighting the Watcher, which is way down the line. Accuracy nine, Twilight Sword proficient. Level. Okay. And the King Spear, uh, you can attack from two away. I mean, oh, there's... Yeah, it would probably be better. So the, the king's man was a nemesis encounter. Okay. There once was a monster that was to lead its master's regal procession. First the monster came as a herald, then its hungry masters. So fierce were the monster's masters that it never thought to protect its own back, knowing what horrors lay behind it. Scary. Yes. It has 10 basic actions, 2 advanced action, a movement of 5, a toughness of 12, and starts with 5 S cards. What does that stand for? I don't remember, but it's they're all out there. So we got, it's, a lot of stuff's going to happen each time. Yes. We won't spoil that, though, because we'll do that next time. Yeah, and we won't have a hunt phase. Instead, select the King's Man monster level and set up the showdown accordingly. So it's only a level one, but if we fight him again, it has to be a level two, because Nemesis encounters, you can never fight the same level again. Okay. Wrapping it up. Yeah, shit Thanks. cards. That's what the S stands for. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for watching. We did it. Good night, yes. everybody. Good night. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us.